Hello, welcome back to Final Fantasy VI. Vakis worked hard to stymie the efforts of the Imperial troops in South Figaro, but now he desperately needs to escape. Damn it, gotta get to Nosh on the fly. Yeah, they, uh, took off all his equipment. Um, I don't know which... The air knife is stronger, and it's wind elemental, but the main gosh gives him the extra speed and evasion, which might be the better option. I can just give him the Genji Glove. Then he can equip both. Rich people's homes always have secret passages. You just have to search until you find a place where you can feel a draft. Quite so. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, don't talk to that guy, or you're gonna have to fight him, and he will mo more than likely kick your ass. I think we want to head here first. Stay away from those armored soldiers. They'll kill you just for talking to him. Yeah, as she just says right there. Infamous thief, Locke, aren't you? Oh, now that was just plain rude. I'm a treasure hunter, and don't you forget it. What we're supposed to do here is steal from him. Stole his clothes, too. Here we go. They're a little tight, but the price was right. Ugh. <laughs> uh. have to go and open my mouth. So, a lot of this part of the game is actually actually really cool. Um, it actually involves having Locke uh, steal clothes from these guys and then go around uh, go around in disguise like, you know, very, uh, very thief-like. No cider? What are you doing here? used to be a servant for the richest family in town. Yeah, merchant, right? Okay, go ahead. Yeah, that kid, that kid actually bars this path for anyone who's not a merchant. I'm not buying anything. Oh, what do you think you're doing? Oh shit, even even in disguise you shit, uh no thanks, buddy. Those guys have pretty high um physical defense, so Locke by himself isn't gonna be able to do much to them. What we're actually supposed to do is head up this way. Cause there's there are these actually I think I forgot to there we go, got a teleport stone. Talk to these guys in the green armor. Maybe. What are you doing here? Scram! Nice uniform, I think I'll take it. They're a bit too large. But he didn't charge. <laughs> Now 
Now you can actually go around and talk to the soldiers. Get back to your post. Well, some of them. That idiot Kafka's about to invade Narsh. Of course I know better than to call him that to his face. <laughs> Hulk, what do you think you're doing? A detachment should be making its way toward Narsh as we speak. We'll be linking up with them soon. Oh, is my shift up already? Great, I'll go take a break. Okay, so he relieves his post. So now we can access this part of town. Uh, can we actually... Go back to your post. Uh, it seems our famous Lady General turned traitor. I heard they have her locked up somewhere in this town. Oh no, I'm late for my shift guarding the underground passage to the mansion. Oh well, better never than late. I heard there are two tunnels beneath the northern mansion. One leads to another house, and the other leads out of town. Hmm. Sounds like we should be heading there, then. Hey you, come to steal my cider, did you? You dirty little thief. Damn right. Taint Cider. Okay, now we can head back towards the towards the old man. Yep, merchant. Oops. Ah, cider! Uh, 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 secret passage? Well, yes, there is a tunnel from here to the mansion on the north end of town. Go downstairs and tell my grandson the password. It's... um... Uh, I forgot. Well, gee, thanks a lot. But, tell him that, we can now, uh, give a password to the kid. Rosebud. Rosebud. No, no, it's not Rosebud. I think in some... In some translations I've seen, this actually says Wild Rose, which is actually a reference to Final Fantasy II. But, uh... The password's actually supposed to be Courage. I'll show you the secret entrance. Thank you. Wait, did I check these already? No, I didn't. Troops to turn this house into their headquarters. Thanks to our inside informant, this town fell with almost no resistance. Inside informant. Ah, these kids are driving me nuts. Can't they keep quiet for two minutes? Wind the clock, wind the clock. Uh, that was just a jump rope rhyme. Sure it was, kid. Oh, what have I done? I betrayed my town to the Empire. All I could think of was the money. Also, oh, you're the dirty rat. <laughs> but, 
we can take our disguise off. We don't need that anymore. I know I've seen her before. Wait a second. She's one of the Empire's generals. This is what happens to traitors. So just like the GBA version, they actually removed the bit of the of the troops beating her. Rather weird little change to make. A Magitech knight forged by the Empire and tempered in battle. None have ever truly known the woman beneath the general's guise. Here we meet Celeste. Also going to be another uh, major character in this game. So the mighty Celeste has fallen. Not as far as those who use their strength to oppress the weak. Quiet. Kafka's planning to poison every last man, woman, and child in the kingdom of Doma. Shut up. <laughs> Run that mouth of yours while you still can. Your execution's tomorrow. Keep a close eye on her. Yes, sir. But I can stand guard for days without sleep. And she still collapses from her non-beating. Well, we're gonna have to find a way to deal with that guard. Or, no, he's already asleep. Oh, and note, she's also not chained. She's supposed to be chained to the wall, which... All of her hands are bound, but... Just keep looking. <laughs> nah, let's untire. And you are... Name's Locke. I'm with the Returners. You're a Returner? I'm... At least, I was General Celeste. Now I'm nothing but a traitor. Well, let's get going. Huh? You take me with you? No, I can barely walk. I'd never make it out of here. I appreciate it, but even if you got me out, you wouldn't be able to protect me. I'm better off waiting here for the Executioner. At least that way I'll keep my pride. I'll protect you. Trust me, you'll be fine. Wink. Let's go. Wait. This soldier might have got... I have something on that can help get us out of here. Clock key is working. Stealing is wrong. Clean old clock key. Oh. have a few things we can give her. And she also knows magic. For right now, she has Cure, Poison, and Blizzard, I think. Have a bit of dungeon to make our way through. 
not terribly long, but it can be a little bit tricky with, uh, with our party members the way they are right now. Not, not terribly tough, and I don't want to burn too, through too much of Celeste's magic, if I can help it at least. Got some iron armor, though. We'll give that to her. hidden passages in these walls, too. Although, giving Locke that Genji glove is certainly going to help, I think. Hidden, hidden chest with a ribbon in it. Very awesome. High ether there. Is there anything else? No, I think that ribbon was the real, uh, the big star of this. Celeste has another ability called Runic, you saw there. That enables her to absorb certain, uh, magic attacks. Which, it can be useful depending on what enemies you're fighting. Although, you have to keep in mind that it absorbs both friendly and enemy, uh, um, spells. Hearing, I believe that, um... Yeah, boost strength of the wearer's magic. Effect increases when worn in pairs. So presumably it gives you either either the effect stacks if you equip two of them, or it actually increases it even more, like exponentially, if you wear two of them. Remind me a lot of someone. Oh, what's it matter anyway? I'm helping you because I want to. Okay, but with that, we've escaped the town. Before we head into. head back through Figaro Cave. Now there are some new enemies in here since we were here last. A bit tougher than before. Uh, what was 
that. Okay, so we want to get one of these. To oh shit. Okay, so I think it's this chest that... Oh shit, no, it's an ether. It must be one of the other ones. The, the contents of at least one of these chests should be different now. chest our first time through. Neither of them can equip it, but it does cast Thundara when you use it as an item. And then the and then the rod breaks. So you can't use it over and over. But it will prove very useful in just a minute or two. that noise? Better heal up. So we're ready to leave. What is that? Something's coming through the wall. Tunnel armor. If that thing hits us with its magic, they'll be scrubbing two big scorch marks off the wall. So what are we supposed to do? Don't worry. I'll draw its magic with my runic blade. And you'll be okay. Just you watch. So, she gives us a little bit of a primer on, on her runic ability. This thing has some pretty powerful magic attacks. Which... Uh, we just stole an air knife from it. I think there's something better we can we can steal from it, but we have a lesser chance of doing so. But the thing is weak to thunder, so if we just use the thunder rod on it, it kills it in one shot. Drop an elixir. Whew, looks like we're finally in the clear. Alright, we're done with his. Next time we'll move on to uh, Sabin's. His is actually much longer than the other two. So I probably won't get it in one video, but uh, I'll see you guys then. I'm playing a game.